Born in Strathmore, California, Bill Harris enlisted in the Navy in 1936 and served as a radio man aboard the USS Houston. It was then while at sea that he got his first taste of flying, operating radios on the cruiser's scout planes. He was discharged in 1940, but applied for flight training with the Army Air Corps after the attack on Pearl Harbor. He won his wings at Luke Field, Arizona in October 1942. Trained to fly the Lockheed P-38 Lightning, Harris was assigned to the 339th Fighter Squadron and thrown into the desperate battle for Guadalcanal. He scored his first two aerial victories in June 1943 when he destroyed two Japanese Zeros over the Russell Islands, and by October he'd achieved ace status with five kills. Over the next three years, he would be credited with 16 air-to-air -air kills, becoming the second highest ranking ace in the 13th Air Force and 13th overall in the list of U.S. Army Air Force aces in the Pacific. Offered the opportunity to participate in higher profile fighter operations that would have allowed him to increase his total aerial victories, Harris declined. He preferred to stay with his squadron and perform the mundane but necessary bomber escort missions. Harris was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel in May 1945 and was placed in command of the 18th Fighter Squadron in the Philippines. There, the squadron under his command supported ground forces on Luzon and Borneo and attacked enemy shipping throughout the central Philippines. For his accomplishments, Lieutenant Colonel Harris was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross with four oak leaf clusters, the Bronze Star, and the Air Medal with 23 oak leaf clusters. Harris was placed on reserve duty after the war and left military service in April 1946. He then returned to his family's lumber business. He continued to fly as part of his daily work and inspired three of his children to follow careers in aviation. Harris moved to Oregon in 1976 and spent the next 37 years in Klamath Falls. For many years, he participated in programs for civic groups and presented heritage talks for the Oregon Air National Guard pilots at Kingsley Field. These talks kept alive the history and traditions of the Air Force and the men and women who helped to win the Second World War. The Klamath Falls chapter of the Air Force Association was named the Bill Harris Chapter in his honor. Lieutenant Colonel Bill Harris passed away on May 23, 2013.